meditation to overcome shadows. Dream yourself to your power place, maybe next to a river, in the wild forest. The half moon is shining upon your face and the stars have just come out. With your breath, feel the earth beneath you. Feel the sky above you. And feel the sea of heart energy around you. Ask for your guides and power animals to join you. Ask for your guides and power animals to give you the tools, the armor, the weapons. And the strength to face your shadow. Choose where you want to go, lower or higher worlds. Cross the thresholds, cross the bridge. Cross the necessary border to get into the other world. Set the intention to not run away when the shadow comes your way. Fill your chakras, your organs, your whole physical body constantly with fresh prana, chi, vis vitalis, by never forgetting to breathe deeply through that journey. Maybe you will see that you are entering a space that is colder, darker, and a little more challenging, maybe even a little more dangerous, a place where wild animals can come around the corner, like wild boars, wolves, foxes, shackles, bears. In this case, Animals that are not your power animals. Animals, creatures that are there to destroy you. Maybe you are also in an other element. Maybe you are in the element of water and crocodiles, sharks, piranhas, all kinds of life-threatening animals might come. Keep breathing deeply and keep nourishing yourself with energy that will mix with the energy of fear. Be prepared to be afraid. Be prepared to overcome the fear. Feel the space behind you where you cannot see. Feel the cold wind over your left shoulder. The enemy is in here. The enemy is near. The enemy is here. Maybe you feel his breath. Maybe you hear the sounds he makes. Maybe ripples in water or air already 
announce his presence. Should you already start having fear, I advise you to use your chi pump, your perineum, anything that reminds you on your heartbeat. You can even use your muscles to contract and release. Important is to embrace the fear, embrace that the animal is just lurking around the corner. Embrace the goosebumps. Embrace that your senses are higher now. Embrace the animal in you too. The enemy is here and you cannot escape. I invite you to turn around, look into his eyes, look into his mouth, see how aggressive he is, how ready he is to kill you. Be ready to be overwhelmed. He charges. He overthrows you. And now your magical tool of transformation can come into place. You let him knock you over. And the minute he opens his deadly mouth, you transform into something very small and sail right in. You let yourself be consumed by the enemy. He has won, but only in the illusion of the first step. You're in his body now, you're in his throat, his tummy. It's glitchy and it's oozy, it smells bad and you feel that the body fluids are like acid. However, you can protect yourself. If you want to feel that, do 10 to 20 chi pumps. Appreciate where you are. Appreciate that it is unpleasant. But know that you can create a power shield around you that constantly is nourished by the unpleasant environment. And now, expand your light, draw your sword, draw your armor, shield, spear, whatever you feel comfortable with it and start hacking through, start gutting the animal from the inside out. Lots of body fluids, including blood, spread it. You are getting stronger and wider. He reacts, he fights you. He doesn't know what happens. You keep fighting, you keep slashing and smashing. You go into your rage. You go into your absolute rage and you are allowed to be absolute angry, vengeful, even full of hate. You are allowed to do this here. Go for the full immersion of emotional energy and free yourself. Cut through his womb. Go, splash, slash and try to get yourself free. Open up and completely pull the enemy in half. Feel the victory from inside. See how the animal now is wounded deadly. Feel that you might 
lose all the aggression and even have pity with him. He's just a small little puppy, a small little thing who was afraid. I invite you to strip off your armor and your skin that is soaked with blood. Take it off and lie it next to his bleeding skin body. And now open your heart to let your light being come out. Before you do that, open the heart of the enemy as if you would be cutting it open or just open it like a door of cloth and release his light soul, his soul of light. Then do the same with your heart. Open it and breathe out. Your mortal coil is beneath you. All the blood and aggression is beneath you. You see your enemy in the light of eternity. You see an old friend. You see a sister or brother from long, long time ago when you were still not incarnated. Tears of joy run through your light body. You embrace, you become one again. You forgive and you let yourself be forgiven. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. And all is forgiven now. There is love, harmony, and what the Hawaiians call Pono.